I'm the guy that got a year detention for a prank I didn't even commit. I figured out who did, but that didn't get me out. So now I'm stuck in detention version 2.0. Detention, Traz. And from there, things have only gotten stranger. Exhibit A, Kimmy's mom. She knows about the brainwashing, she made the brainwashing phones, and she blew up the building they were made in. And even more suspicious, why is it that everything weird has a Man Worse Than Finwich logo on it? Then there's Brad. First he pulls his own prank, now he's messing with my buds by honing in on their girls. Is he just an attention hog, or is he actually up to something? Is there any way he could be working for Kimmy's mom? The visiting team has Enigma star fencer Brad Von Chilstein in its sights. Oh, I knew the curse of Earl Enigma would finish us. Sweet Wheezy, could it all end here? No, Brad! <laughs> Seriously? You're mad at me for not escaping detention? Principal Barrage gave you a test and you failed. You need to be more clever, like me. See that spot? Watch and learn. Whoa, Mom, look out! Parking spot stealer! That was mine. Well, my car is there, so I guess it's my spot now. Oh, and is that your boy? Leonard, was it? Leonard, I hear you have a very keen interest in aviation. His name is Lee, Mom. Not that it matters. Can we go now? Well, if you do enjoy planes so much, maybe next time we do weekend brunch in Paris, Kimmy can invite you along. Uh, je préfère mourir. Cassandra thinks she's so great, just because she's head of the parents' council. Big deal! I could make zucchini pancakes if I wanted to, but I don't! Yeah, not sure what that even means. Anyway, got a jet. Bye, Mom. Oh, hey. Still mad at me? Okay, nice chatting with you. She's gotta know I'm on to her. Yo, Cam, are you listening? Sorry, bro, I got a book report due on the Three Musketeers, man. But I'm crazy busy being El Prez and I didn't read it. But I got the Brick McSlam movie remake. <laughs> no one gets stabbed for free. So all's good, man. Oh, dude, check it out. Brad's in it. through their pockets, kid, because no one gets stabbed for free. <laughs> Whoa! You know, I hate Brad and stuff, especially since he's, like, suddenly totally into Brandy for some weird reason. But yo, man, S.A. can fence, yo! Ah, gotta study! Cam out! Her? Talking to him? Okay, what are they up to? Greta, you are looking most dashing this morrow. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, thanks. You seen Brad? Like, what is this? Brad! Hey, Brad. Okay, why is she talking to me? I did that assignment on dangling modifiers you needed help with. Oh, yeah, that. Thanks, uh, Frida. <laughs> he almost remembered my name. No, he was not even close. So many letters wrong. So many. Oh, right. She's with him. And I'm still working on my evil plan to get at Lee. Okay, group halt. Hey, Frida, we're chilling in the calf. You coming? Uh, okay. Holger thinks Greta is most dashing, but maybe Greta is thinking Brad is <gasps> the most dashing. Not to worry. If there's one thing this soldier does well, it's execute an order. I should hope so. I want this fencing taken care of today. Oh, was that the bell? Wow, I gotta get to class. Ping out. Dude, what's up? You okay today? You saw my Greta. She is tutoring Brad. <gasps> what is tutoring? Don't worry, it's just when they- No, Holga, no want to know. La, 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 I'm la. Jazz Monteranian. Hi. And guess what? The big parkour fencing match takes place today, during third period. That's just before lunch. So be there, if you dare. Wait, fencing? 
Baraj and Cassandra were just talking about... Shh! Holge is trying to be informed. And if Enigma doesn't win this one, they're out of the tournament, which would be the first time since... ever. Oh, really? And why is that, Tina? Uh, they've been playing poorly? Eh, wrong. And on so many levels, Tina, it's, wait for it, the horrible curse of Earl Nigma. The what? You just made that up. Oh, yeah? Well, if I just made it up, then how do I already have this? <laughs> Roll it, Stepstick. 100 years ago, Earl Nigma, our school's founder's brother, was the greatest fencer of all time. But during his last match, he just tripped. Gah! Yeah, and then an evil wizard appeared and forever cursed the team. Do you actually have any facts? Oh, yeah, I do. How's this? First, Coach Pummel goes missing. Then Cyrus, one of the fencing team members, gets a sprained leg in the last match. Facty enough for you, Tina. And if they lose, it's all over. In actual news. With Cyrus out, the team is holding emergency tryouts in the gym this period. I don't get it. Why do Cassandra and Barrage want the fencing team to lose? I mean, who cares? Maybe it is being the super spy times now? Oh, teensy bit. Okay, so laser swords in 17th century France? I mean, come on! This movie is so not historically accurate. There's no way I'm gonna be able to write this book report. A book report? Come, step into my office. Uh, I'll just go back outside. <laughs> that would be better. So, book report. Three musketeers, guaranteed A? H handing in someone else's paper, man? <laughs> that sounds like, a, like, like cheating, dude. Technically, it is. It's actually the exact definition of cheating. But come on, you're school president. I'm sure you've been super busy. Yeah, like I'm totally in this mess because I spend so much time doing the work of my people. So really, they owe me, right? I'm gonna take it, man. But you got like a C minus in there? I mean, I gotta keep it real, yo. Lounge, retreat, flip, parry, dosido. Okie pokey. Now, annihilate your enemy! Show me the passion. And that's why I always stretch before I eat yogurt. So, back to Kimmy. Is it just me, or does anyone else find her a tad bossy? And seriously, why is Unibrow here? She's cramping our style. Brad, shouldn't you be practicing for the match with the team? Tina. One of the two musketeers from my dad's hit movie doesn't need to practice. Haven't you seen it? I'm amazing. How interesting. Hi, Lee. Let me guess. The curse is some kind of front for something way more eviler afoot. <laughs> That's right. I said eviler. Get this. I overheard Barrage and Cassandra mention something about fencing. And now there's a crazy curse and a chance the team can be eliminated from the tournament. Coincidence? I don't know. If not, what could it... Uh, Mr. Ping, you're so courageous to try out for a team in our particular, how do you say, uh, predicament. Anyway, the thing is, since no one else showed up, welcome aboard! Aboard? The team? Just like that? I need the five fencers. If I cannot feel the proper team, uh, we are to be, how you say, uh, disqualified. Actually, I was... Team, make Mr. Ping feel welcome. That's the best we can do? Ping? Mr. Hog the Spotlight himself? Uh, honestly, I've never fenced before. I'm not- <laughs> Mr. Rousseau, on a scale of one to one and a half billion, how terrified are you of the curse? Hey, wow! <laughs> no superstitious talk in front of the team. Please, let us do our speaking elsewhere. Okay, Ping, you want in? Welcome to your initiation. Team! No, wait, I'm not remotely interested in being on the team. I was just... Ah! Yeah, whoa, no fair. You guys have like official uniforms yeah. with pads. Yeah. Get him! Hey, you can defeat anything with the power of rock and roll, man. Seriously, Sai, do you actually have something useful? Well, you can have this, I guess. Yeah, thanks. Now, if only I knew how to fence. <laughs> the 
This is no game, Lee. Pay attention. <gasps> you never know where your opponent will strike you from. Whoa. <laughs> I can do this? Well, well, Monsieur Ping. So full of surprises. You will without a doubt make a superb addition to the team. But since we don't have time to get you up to speed, you'll go last. Whoa. I'm always last. You know, the star attraction, best for last. No! You are a best fan, sir. It makes no sense to have you go last. It's best three out of five. We always lose before you're even up. Sounds suspiciously like the curse of Earl Nigma. Care to comment, Brad? There is no curse! Earl Nigma! We don't wanna be cursed no more! I don't think it's Earl Nigma's curse at all. I say it's Ping! Ping? In here? But being on a school team is something to do with free time. And you don't have free time! Ever! But, Monsieur Principal, we need him. Without a fifth member, we shall be oh so disqualified. Ah, tough duty. Ping here's a no-good ham sandwich hoarding, spiky-headed sack of useless party boats at me! Ouch! Use him! Uh, fencing, fencing, guys in tights. Not even in the weirdest conspiracy theory does this add up. So, is Brad still making Cam eating the anger cake? Because Holger is very full now. Yeah, like Doofus Doofington can't even decide whose girl he wants to make time with, they say. Maybe as El Prez, I can have him executed or something. Anywho, at least my homework is done. How did you write so fast? <gasps> you are a robot! No, dude, not a robot, okay? No robot, abandon that train of thought like Prano ASAP, okay? I didn't write it. Bought it. Cold hard dinero. What? Holger, no understand. Me thinks you say. Yeah, I bought it, dude. Kind of a cheating thing, but not like really cheating, because I've been like totally busy, you know, for the school. School stuff. Me stuff. Okay, mostly me stuff. How can Cam be the cheat? Re relax, I didn't cheat, cheat, hombre. I mean, some other dude did. I'm just gonna, you know, hand it in. I work so hard, Sprez, yo. It's only fair. I, I think it's in the Constitution or something. No more. This cheating is the most terrible of all cakes. Holger, teach you this story time. What is it now? I told you it's under control. The thing is being handled. Yes? Yes! Yeah, fine! I'll do it now! What is he up to? Why the fencing team? I'm gonna need a new way back into the gym. This is Horse. His name is Horse. He has three friends. Monkey named Monkey, Snake named Snake, and Frog named Sam. What? Why, why is the frog the only one with an actual name? It is not important. Only horse and monkey here for now. So, like, why even bring the others up, man? Confusing much? Holger tells story. Horse and monkey playing checkers. Checker, 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 checker. And monkey keep cheating. Horse say, yo, why you want to cheat so much? That's no fun. So, monkey go home and make a sleepy time and thinking, hmm, maybe it is no fun. And so he go back and then play checkers and now monkey no cheat and was so fun. Okay, like that is the worst story ever. That makes me want to go out and cheat harder, dude. The monkey decided not to cheat for no reason, just cause he made a sleepy time. He was very good monkey. <laughs> <laughs> What could Barrage and Cassandra possibly want with the fencing team? To create assassins? Cam, kind of busy right now. Okay, so, um, there's this monkey, right? And he's cheating at checkers with a horse. Cam, seriously. Okay, okay, hold on. Um, I also heard that you're, like, on the fencing team, so could you pull Brad aside and get him to, like, stop messing with Brandy and Greta? It's not only totally insulting you, but Holger is going totally loco. Yeah, Brad's probably doing it to mess with me. I'll deal with it. Go ahead and cheat. 
You're such a busy president and so handsome. That's totally true. But yeah, cheating, it is wrong. Oh, man. The puppets are right. I can't cheat. Uh, I'll, I'll just fake sick and, uh, and I'll deal later. That's okay, right? It's all right. It's all right. Lee, I think I figured out this whole fencing thing. Really? Hold on. No way. Brad's unscrewing the handles? Brad is the saboteur? He's behind the curse? Lee, forget the curse. Chaz made it up. This isn't about the fencing team. Let's They're building that. a fence. An actual fence. Look! Up that what? ladder! We need this fence built double time! So then, what's Brad up to? I'm gonna go with something stupid and action movie related. Good call. You check out what Dr. Genius is up to. I'll see if I can find out more about this fence. Plan and effect. Oh, and thanks. Aha! Caught ya! Who said that? Wait, Earl Nigma's ghost? You real? Yes. <clears throat> yes, I am. <laughs> oh, this is just too easy. Please, don't hurt me. I didn't mean it. It's all because I'm a sham, a total sham. OK, then. Earl Nigma's ghost commands you to explain yourself. I can't, fence. Everyone thinks I can't because of that stupid movie. More details. Okay, I rigged all the matches so we'd lose the best of five before I'd play, so I could never be exposed. I'm sorry! Ping? Ha! I knew it was you. You know I was kidding about all that stuff, right, fellow prankster? Yeah, sure, right. Dude, seriously, what are you trying to do to the fencing team? I just can't fence, I swear. I used a stunt double for the movie. My dad is coming today, and now I'm going first, and I don't want him to see that I suck. Please, you gotta help me. Help you? Why? Because you're good. You can take my place, please. Uh, fine, on two conditions, Brandy and Greta, back off. Why are you messing with my friend's girls anyway? It's kind of complicated and sort of involves screwing up your life. You know, you gotta take out the pawns before you get the king, but it's a deal. So, what's the plan? Man, really? I gotta come up with that too? Unless. Do you happen to have an aircraft carrier and a teleporter? Okay, I'll think of something. I gotta get to class, I'll text you. Looking good, pal. Totally channeling me. Maybe the triceps are a little undeveloped, but hopefully nobody will notice. Okay, seriously, I've never even done this before. I'm only doing this for one reason, Cam and Holger. Oh! That's actually two reasons. Look, you'll be fine, but seriously, I bruise like a peach. So go easy out there. <laughs> Fencing? Fencing. How do I get myself into things like this? And there he is, folks. Enigma High's only chance to break the curse. Let's show up here a little high school cheer. Brad Von Chilstein! That's my boy! My boy! Camilio? Um, the reason that I didn't hand in my paper was, uh, uh... Camilio, what are you talking about? I just graded your paper, and I agree there should have been a fourth musketeer. Well argued. Whoa, where did you get this? Why, from you, obviously. Huh. Okay, this is like super weird, because I mean, I threw it in the garbage. Uh, I mean, I only bought an, I mean, I mean, uh, I only wrote a C paper. Well, you did a good job. And all while balancing the presidency, as the kids would say, you the man, dog. You never know where your opponent will strike you from. <laughs> That's my boy! No, Brad! A Lee, Cannoli? Anyone have some teensy bit? Holga loving the most finest in Sicilian pastry. <laughs> Take that, curse! 
Thanks. Hi. <laughs> I owe you, Ping. Just keep up your end of the deal. I gotta get back to class. Thank you! <laughs> So, yeah, you shouldn't have any more problems with Brad. That's cool, thanks, bro. But that's kind of like the least of my problems right now. Oh, really? What now? Okay, so, I bought this book report, and then I totally threw it out, but someone handed it in anyway, and then I got like an A+, plus, dude. Wow, that is pretty weird. But maybe it's a secret admirer. Yeah, I guess, but I call it more like a secret stalker, man. I'd say someone's just messing with me, like rat circles mess with you. Light out! I don't know. We'll have to look into this. I gotta go. So Brad's just one seriously messed up dude. No conspiracy there. But Kimmy's mom, that's a whole other story. Why on earth would she be building a fence around our school? She's up to something, and I intend to find out what. <laughs>